Months into a pandemic and weeks more into protests, state lawmakers are sending five bills to the governor's desk. We won't find out what happens next until tomorrow as lawmakers have had this Father's Day off. But for everything that's happened so far in this special legislative session, let's go to Action 7 News reporter Brandon Evans. The pandemic basically set the state back $2 billion and now state lawmakers believe they have two pieces of legislation ready to go to the governor's desk that will fill that gap. House Bill 1 cuts state agency funding by 4% with the goal of taking less from public education and health care. However, it reduces the governor's new opportunity scholarship to focus only on two-year community colleges. It also uses $750 million in federal money. Here's our KOAT political expert Brian Sanderoff on Senate Bill 5, which is part two of the budget fix. Essentially, Senate Bill 5 cancels a lot of construction projects and allows the state to use $141 million that would have gone to those construction projects. And while the budget is fixed, it may not be final. Just because they're passing these solvency acts does not mean the state is out of hot water. It's very possible that if our economy does not increase in the next year, if gas and oil prices do not increase, if oil production does not increase, New Mexico legislature may be in the same vote come next January. Two other bills ready for the governor's signature are also COVID related. House Bill 6 says businesses and people who fell behind on their taxes will have late fees waived for a year. And Senate Bill 4 says county clerks can now directly mail you your absentee ballot application. This special session lawmakers could also not ignore what other huge event is happening around the world, including right here in New Mexico. We're looking for change and we're looking for strength to run the long haul. Demonstrations and protests against racism and police brutality. Pending the governor's signature, lawmakers have now created a civil rights commission. It's dedicated to seeing people persecuted for any reason that the people responsible are held accountable and prosecuted. But that's not all. Even though the Senate has adjourned indefinitely, they've approved three other bills that the House hasn't voted on yet. Senate Bill 7 on reducing institutional racism and Senate Bill 8 making police body cameras mandatory. If we're going to address institutional racism, we have to talk about the fact that Bob, bad cops should be allowed to be fired. This is about improving public safety. So it's transparency, it's accountability. The House will address those three Senate bills when they resume on Monday. And basically three things can happen. Anything that passes goes to the governor's desk. Anything that fails is basically dead or they could amend it. And that's when the Senate would have to come back. Reporting, Brandon Evans, KOAT Action 7 News. Another bill the House will consider Monday is the Small Business Recovery Act. This seeks to help businesses hit hardest by the pandemic.